Hello everyone, welcome to Taste Buds. To bring a change from the dishes we have been cooking for a long time, today we thought to prepare some Thai food. And on hearing the word Thai food, the first thing which comes to our mind is something which is street food like or which is very spicy. However, it's different from that. It's Thai curry. And this Thai curry is generally available in two forms. One is a green Thai curry and another one is the red Thai curry. Today, we are laying our hands on the green Thai curry and it tastes absolutely delicious with rice. So, today our recipe is green Thai curry. So, let's see how to make green Thai curry. To make green Thai curry, the ingredients that we need are some vegetables like zucchini cut into pieces like this, red and yellow bell pepper, some shallots and then we have some baby corn, some mushrooms, some carrots, some broccoli and now the ingredients to prepare the green Thai curry paste. For that we need some lemongrass like this, we need some Thai ginger and also we need some basil leaves, some garlic, a lime, coriander leaves, the leaves of gondhoraj lime or any lemon, some green chilies and coconut milk up to 3 concentration. One is the thickest coconut milk, another one is little thinner consistency and the last one is the thinnest consistency. So first let's make the green Thai curry paste. To make the green Thai curry paste we need lemongrass. Lemongrass is generally available in the market like this. We have to cut the stalk and prepare the lemongrass like this as shown. Now to prepare the green Thai curry paste, in a blender jar we need to add the coriander leaves, the basil leaves, the leaves of the gondhoraj lime, we have to split it into half like this, some lemongrass. the Thai ginger, some shallots, some garlic, two green chilies, salt to taste, some sugar to taste and then we need to blend everything together. When it comes to this consistency, our green Thai curry paste is absolutely ready. Now to prepare the Thai curry, we have to add two tablespoons of oil in a pan and then add some garlic to it. Then we have to fry the garlic for a minute. And after that we need to add some Thai ginger. Thai ginger is different from ordinary ginger, it looks like this. And then we have to fry everything for about a minute. Then we need to add these vegetables one by one. Here goes the shallots, the red bell pepper, the yellow bell pepper, and the zucchini. In the meanwhile, we have boiled the other vegetables together. And after this goes the carrots, the broccoli, the baby corn, the mushroom and then we add some salt to taste and then we have to stir everything together and cook for about 2 minutes. Then we have to add 4 tablespoons of this green Thai curry paste. Then we have to mix the green Thai curry paste very well with the vegetables. This indeed looks very colorful and flavorful. Now we have to add 1 teaspoon of black pepper powder and 1 teaspoon of cumin powder. And then we have to mix everything together. Then we have to add the coconut milk of the thinnest consistency. After this, we have to add the coconut milk of medium consistency and then stir everything together and cook it for 3 to 5 minutes. After the mixture boils, then we have to add the gondhoraj lime leaves one by one by splitting into two like this. Then we have to cover the lid and cook for about 2 to 3 minutes. After 2-3 to three minutes, the curry will be boiling hot and flavorful like this. Then we have to give it a gentle stir. And then we have to take out the gondhoraj lime leaves and the lemongrass. 
and then we have to add the milk of the thickest consistency. Then we have to stir it again for some time and add the rest of the milk. After this we need to give this curry a good stir. Then we have to add some more salt to taste and then stir it very well. Like this we have to cook it for about 2 more minutes and then add the lime juice and mix it for a while. So after adding these 2 red chilies, our Thai curry is absolutely ready. Now it's the time for serving. For serving this you can take some Thai curry out like this and you can serve it with plain rice. This Thai curry is actually very healthy and yummy. The health comes from all these vegetables which will provide so many nutrients and this is the ideal thing to give for your kids. So our Thai curry is absolutely ready. Do make it at home for your loved ones and tell me in the comment box how you loved about this recipe. If you like this recipe then don't forget to give us a like, share with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.